One more thing to do off the top, and that is this. Now, we all know that Avengers Endgame, uh, after taking a lot longer than what a lot of us thought it was going to after that huge opening weekend, it did finally cross Avatar to become the number one all-time box office movie. But there are some people who don't think that it's going to hold that record for that long. One of them is one of the stars of the upcoming uh, Avatar films, Cliff Curtis, who can currently be seen in Hobbs and Shaw playing uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's big brother, Jonah. He's actually really great in that movie. I, I like his character a lot in that movie. Anyway, he's going to be in the upcoming Avatar sequels, and he was recently asked about all this stuff, and he said this. Interesting comments. This is what he said. You know, Jim, James Cameron, and producer John Landau, they're very classy men, and they salute the accomplishments of Marvel. Mind you, my perspective is, because I'm in the Avatar family, they, Marvel, came into that with 20 movies. And I think, you know, I can't wait to see what happens. And Avatar's one movie, first one, I can't wait to see what happens with these two, three, four, and five. What's going to happen? I am so excited. So, listen, it sounds to me... Like what Cliff is doing, and by the way, a lot of people know him from the Walking, uh, uh, Fear the Walking Dead, uh, and of course he's right now in Hobbs and Shaw, going to be an Avatar. I really like this dude a lot. I just thought he was great in, in Hobbs and Shaw. I really do. Anyway, he seems to be throwing down a gauntlet saying, yeah, 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 Avatar, that's great. And, you know, we respect, or Endgame, that's great. We respect what it did. You know, uh, James Cameron put out some really classy social media posts about Endgame. Then the Russo brothers put out equally really classy responses to James Cameron. It was a movie family love fest for a little while there. But now we're getting a little bit of gauntlets being thrown down. Seems like Curtis is saying, yeah, you you enjoy that number one spot for now, Endgame. But Avatar 2 is coming. And that's kind of like what it seems to me that he's saying. Rob, you hear Curtis's comments here. you know, And there are some people out there. I am not one. Like, I don't think Avatar 2 can come close to what the first Avatar did. I think it'll make a billion in its sleep. Then again, I thought Justice League would make a billion in its sleep. But anyway, I think it'll make a billion in its sleep. But I don't know that two billions on the table, let alone $2.7, $2.8 billion. So I'm not so sure about that. But there are fans out there who are like, Campia, when are you going to learn to stop doubting James Cameron? There's that argument to be made too. You hear these comments, Rob. What do you make of them? Well, first of all, I am a huge Avatar lover. I, I think Avatar is a wonderful movie. Sure, it's, is it classical storytelling like all of James Cameron's movies? Yes, it is. Is it Fern Gully in outer space? Perhaps. <laughs> but I still, the, the film is so visionary. I, every time I watch it, I'm, I'm astonished by the craft. When they go and, and ride those dragons, whatever they call, they're called. But it's, it's an astonishing piece of fantasy filmmaking across the board. And I, like you said, John, who bets against James Cameron? They all try. Titanic's going to suck. Avatar, it's not going to work. Yeah, whatever. But I, I think what Cameron does is, what people forget, he does the research and development for the entire motion picture business. When you watch a James Cameron movie, you see something groundbreaking. You see effects ever since The Abyss. You've seen things that you haven't seen before. The Aliens before that was one of the great sequels of all time. True Lies is one of your favorite action movies yep. of all time. James Cameron is a, is a filmmaker that's, you know, he's a meat and potatoes filmmaker. He's not some erudite guy coming down from the mountain with his sage-like wisdom. What he does is he takes classical myths or classical tropes and turns them into something that we, you know, devour as we do Five Guys Burgers. And, and it works. <laughs> and, I, and I think that I think that's, uh, we're going to get something like that with Avatar 2. I'm really excited I don't know if it's going to beat Endgame. I don't even think in those kind of terms. I just know we're going to be getting a visionary, incredible piece of science fiction and entertainment. And that's what I want for my movies. Chris, let me ask you this just quickly. I mean, obviously, we are so far away from Avatar 2. Uh, there's obviously no no images, no trailers, no real plot, plot synopsis at this point. It, it's a long ways off. But sitting where we are right now, 
Do you think that Avatar 2 could be a contender for the number one box office film at all time? Or do you think, like me, that's going to fall short of that? I definitely think it has the possibility. I'm not going to rule anything out. And I love that Rob brings up the whole argument that people make of, it's just these stories. Yeah, that's movies in general. Mm. If you like rom-coms, Much Ado About Nothing has been ripped off every single time. You know what I mean? And he makes things into a spectacle, like Rob was saying. I think it has the potential to pull in a lot of people because I think it does have kind of a broader audience than even some of these Marvel movies, you know? My dad is obsessed with Avatar. That is his favorite movie of all time. He thinks it's one of the greatest films ever made and was so mad that it didn't win, like, Best Picture and all this other stuff when it came out. (laughs) So people like my dad, who aren't as into comics but read them every now and then or go see a movie to make me feel validated in my career, are going to go see Avatar. Well, listen, there's a lot of things to take in consideration. The question here for you guys is this. Do you think that he's got a point and that we could see Avatar 2 defeat the current standing box office champion? And that, as a matter of fact, is the topic of today's question of the day. What I need you to do is jump on over to simply, uh, you can see my Twitter handle there, just at John Campia. Just before the show started, I put up a poll asking you guys if, if you guys think there's a chance for that. And right now, overwhelmingly, You guys think, no, so the question was simply this. Avatar star Cliff Curtis suggested Avatar 2 won't have much trouble beating uh, Avengers Endgame. All-time box office record. Is he right? About a little over 1,600 of you guys have cast a vote so far. 9% of you are saying, yes, he's right. 91% of you, overwhelming majority, are saying, no, he's not. But are, and I agree with you guys, but are we guilty of once again underestimating the powers of James Cameron. Yes. I mean, maybe we are. And of course, it's a long way to go, but jump down to the comment section below and let us know what you guys think. Okay. With that stuff down.